You ready? Okay. Nice work! <laughs> Hi there, I'm Professor E. And I'm DJ Schurz. Welcome to the Robot Program. I'm really excited for this episode because in this episode, we're gonna combine our love of music and robots. So we've got an instrument here for JD. So what are we gonna do with this instrument? We're gonna teach JD how to play the piano today. I love it, okay. so excited. So you can do this at home as well. If you have a piano or a musical instrument like a keyboard, you can follow along and watch what we do and reproduce it at home. Okay, so how okay. are we going to get started? Well, to get started, we're going to use some painter's tape to make sure that JD is securely fastened to the table. Because he's going to be moving around a lot and pushing the, the keys, we don't want him to push himself away. Okay, so just like a keyboardist has to sit at the bench, we're going to make sure he's staying in one spot. Yes, and before we turn him on and use him, we want to find out where a good place for that spot's going to be. So if we extend his arm out, if his hands are closed, and he pushes down on the keys, he hits more than one key at a time. Yeah. So I think it's best that we have his hands open while he's playing the piano. And he's just gonna play with one side. He'll hit one side. So then we'll have him bend down. That's good. So this might be a good place for him right about there. Now we can always move the keyboard if we have to. Yeah. Easier than moving him around. Okay, so let's tape him down now so that we can connect to him. So we'll just tape over top of his foot here. Oh, <laughs> let's move that away for a second. There we go. And we'll tape his other foot. And then back over here. And we're going to get him to actually lean down, I think, on occasion. So we're going to want to make sure that he's fastened down pretty decently. That looks not too bad. What do you think? Maybe one in the middle here? Go right there. Perfect. And come up on the other side. All right. Okay, JD, you're not going anywhere. Good. Okay, so now that he's secure, now we can put the keyboard in front of him again. Right about there. Now we might have to move it around a little bit. And let's turn him on. And we're going to load Easy Builder on our computer. We'll skip going to school, and we're going to load the JD Bear project. So we'll locate that inside of our example list here. And this gives you a nice clean workspace to start from. And if you have a server profile for JD, you want to load that as well. Now we're going to connect to JD's network. And of course, push the connect button. Okay, now he initializes, and it's okay for us to initialize him while he's standing in this case because we have him taped down, so he's not going to go anywhere. Right, so normally. we don't want to tape him in some weird position. <laughs> no, normally you would lie him down when you connect to JD. So now we're going to just push the stop button and put him to a stop position. Okay, okay. we're going to use the auto positioner for this whole process. And because people are watching us do this at home on the camera, why don't we also add JD's camera to this? So people can watch him look down at the... Uh, He's going to look at his keys. Look at the keys, okay. So we're going to locate the auto positioner gear. We're going to choose that. And in our list, we're going to scroll down until we find the stand position. There it is there. Now we're going to add a new frame. And we're going to start at C. So we're going to call this one C1, because it's going to be the first position of moving into the C. And we're building this off of the stand position. So I'm going to get his arm to move out. Now we're going to get him to bend down a little bit. So I'm going to move this up to 110, which is 20 away from 90. So I'll have to want to move this one down to 70 to be equal. Okay. And then we'll bring his, oops, wrong arm. His arm in. And we mentioned we're going to open up his hands for this to happen. Use one side of his gripper. One side of his gripper. Okay. So we're going to start this as position number one. He's going to hover right above the key. Now the position number C2 is going to be JD actually pushing C. Okay. And then he'll go back to C1 again to pull away from C. Okay. All right. So hover over keys, press keys, release keys. So here we go. So we're going to move this down until he pushes the button. 
There so we go. 135. And we'll do the opposite for this. And then C2. Nice. And C1. Now, on C1, he's at 110 and 70. So we might have to bring this one up a little bit, just so they're equal. So again, that's too far. So 60 and 120. So we're making them equal so he's standing nice and straight. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. C1, C2. So now that we know how to do the note C, let's move on to the next note, which of course is D. So we'll build that off of C1. So we'll just choose, and we'll call this D1. So we're building his positions for the whole keyboard first. We're going to do all of C, just one octave. C major, all right. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one arm and bring it over a little bit. And we might have to bring that one in. Bring this one over a little bit more. There we go. And now we'll do the same thing. So we'll call this one D2. And under C2, we brought the numbers down to what? Do you remember? Um, what do we have? 130 or so, 30 right? and then around 60. There's 130 and 60. I did it again. Perfect. Okay, this is fun. So now we have to do the next letter, which of course is A, B, C, D, E, one. And now I'm going to bring his arm over a little bit more. We might actually have to go like this. Otherwise, both sides of his grippers are going to hit the keyboard. Yeah. So there we go. So that's E1. And I'll go E2, in which case we're going to bring him down again. Around 130. And this one down to 60. Back up. Okay, it looks like he's a little too far Just over. Just a little he's catching bit. that one yeah. key. Okay, let's try that. There, that's good. Okay, we got C, D, E, now it's F. F, okay. So let's go build off this one. F. One. Okay, so hovering over F. Okay, so we're gonna slide this over again a little bit farther. There we go. And we'll bring his body down a little bit this time. We want him hovering equally over the keys? Yeah. Right about there, does that look right? That looks good. Okay, maybe we'll even bring his arm up like that. Yeah. So it gets more of it, okay. So now we're gonna choose F2. And let's bend him down. And also, let's extend his arm out a little bit, too. And that way. And bring his shoulder a little bit more. Oops. Too far. Too far, wrong way. Okay, bring it down a little bit more. There we there go. There we go, there's us. <laughs> okay, now let's bring his, it looks like it might need to let's go F1. Oh, no, that looks like it's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so C, D, E, F? G. G. All right. So is his arm going to reach G, or are we going to have to bring in his other arm? I think we're going to have to bring in his other arm for G. You know what? Good piano playing. We might as well split the octave. Let's get his right arm in there. Okay. So now we're going to do G. So we'll type in G1. And now G's going to slide over quite a bit more, so let's it's get right his... right in the middle there. Yeah. So as far as his, this arm is going to be able to reach, I think. So bring it way over there. Let's bring his body down. His shoulder up. And maybe a little bit more that way. So we're at 140. And bring this one down to... Right about there, that's good. So now we'll make this one G2, and this is where he pushes the note. Oh, he's hitting both notes a little bit, so let's see if we can... Just a bit. Yeah, let's see if we can open up his hand a little bit more. Yeah, that seems to, to work. I only hear one note. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, that's great. So A, Halfway B, there. C, D, E, F, G, and now we want to get to A, B, and C. So we're going to use his other hand for A, B, and C. Okay. So let's start with stand, because now we're going to build this arm out. 
Okay, we're going to call this one AA1 because we already have a, a, a frame called A1. And we'll have to use this arm. So bring this arm up. Of course, we want his hand all the way open. Nice and wide, good. And bring that in. And bring that in. You notice that I'm not making the numbers go below one. So there's no zero or one. You see how it turns red? Because those are special cases. And you can read about those on the, on the uh, manual page for the auto positioner. And we can cover those in other episodes as well. So let's not worry about that right now. So let's bend his body down again. We'll bring it down to around 130. And bring this one down to 50 to match it. How does that look? Pretty good. Okay, so we're at C, D, E, F. We gotta get to G, G and A. A right there. So we're right above it. There, there we it go. Is. Perfect. And he's hovering over B, but not hitting it. Nice. Okay, so next up, B1. So we have a whole octave now of notes that JD can play. Okay, so now that we have the entire scale done, one hand, like for example, let's go to C1 position. This hand is over here. Well, if we were to transition now into, say, C2, it has to put this hand away to bring this hand up. So we want to clean up the transitions. So we're going to take this shoulder on this side for C and bring it in and bring in his hand and bring in his arm, like that. So we'll keep it above for each one of these. Okay. So on this side, we want this to be one and around 10. And we'll do this with the next one. Click on C, two. And we'll make this one, again, all the way up, all the way in, all the way in, and all the way up. And we'll do this one for A, B, C, D, same thing. go. Okay, so let's make him stand up so that we don't have to hear him <laughs> holding down this note for a long time. Excellent. Okay, so he's in his stand position. So now we're going to go to the actions tab. We're going to create an action for each note on the keyboard. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click new action. We're going to call this one C1 and we're going to locate our frame called C1 on the list. We're going to add C1, C2, and C1. So this is Hover, press, release. And now we're going to go A, B, C. So A, B, or sorry, A, B, C, D, one. And we're going to do D, one, and D, two, and D, one. E, one. E, one, E, two, E, one. F, one. F, one, F, two, F, one. G, one. Scroll down for a G1, there it is, G1, G2, G1. And now we are in A1. And we called A1, A, A1, because there already was. There we go. And now we will call this one B1, or B1, B2, B1. And finally, C2, because we're on the next or octave. higher C, yeah. So this one is called CC1, CC2, CC1. There we go. So now we have a note assigned to each action, which we can trigger using Blockly or even speech commands if we wanted to. So our frames are now sorted into actions. Yes. So we're going to click on the Blockly tab and we're going to go to our movement section here. And you're going to see there's two different auto positions. There's auto position weight and there's, of course, regular auto position. We're going to use auto position weight. What that means is wait till the position, the animation is complete before moving on to the next animation. So it'll execute all of our frames before it moves on. So we're going to do a complete scale. So let's start with C1. And you can see our actions are in there now. And now you can duplicate this and go to D1, duplicate it again, E1, F, G, A, B, and our C2. I'm so excited. We're going to hear a whole complete scale here. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here you go, JD. There we 
we go. Full scale. Nice Excellent. work. Okay, so now we can get JD to play some music. Okay. So let's get creative. What should we do for songs? Let me click and clear the sketch here. All right, so let's go movement. And we'll add here the action weight. So C1, duplicate, to D1, duplicate, to E1, duplicate. So this will be G, A, duplicate. Okay, and then I go from G to E. E, okay, and then G E to C. C. Okay, let's just try that out and see how that works. Ready? Okay. Nice work! <laughs> That's excellent. So that was a lot of fun. We got to teach JD to play the piano using the auto position control. So you can go online if you don't know music yourself and get some notes, some sheet music and enter it in as auto positions. And of course, take your time to teach the robot each key and he'll learn how to play them. Bravo, JD.